They said I was crazy. They may have even called me a fool. But me? I just wanted to play Hogwarts Legacy. Hey guys, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host Javon and today we're about for another crazy video where I managed to get Hogwarts Legacy to potato level graphics so that I can get somewhat decent frame rates in playing this damn game. Today we're running this is on my Intel Core i3-10105 with the Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics. We're running with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory and I'll show you these settings real quick. I'm using 960 by 5 40 obviously FSR 2 to ultra performance so we're actually running at 320 by 180 I could have gone lower <laughs> but I thought that this was the, this is probably the best for the best quality here we got low I said quality but you know brace yourselves for impact guys I have added another config in the description that you can download to achieve the potato level graphics Ooh. but hey that 30 FPS though, <laughs> I mean, here we're hitting 30 FPS in Harry Potter and in Hogwarts Legacy now. Isn't this what you wanted? Isn't this what you wanted, guys? I figured it out with Hogwarts Legacy. 30 FPS. Will it be stable? Hell no. But it is 30 FPS nonetheless. Do I know where I am? No. Do I know where I'm going? Hell no. <laughs> but we are playing Hogwarts Legacy. That's what I know. But once again, I hope you guys enjoy this video, man. It's it's rough putting. It's rough having to put out these things like this, man. It's rough having to put me myself through this pain. But it's Hogwarts Legacy, and it runs. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Hogwarts Legacy is running. It's running somewhat decently here. I say decently, but I mean, you know, I, I say decent. Oh, let's get into a battle. I I can't seem to get out of the battles, guys. I'm sorry. Oh wow, even the battles are running good now. Wow. Like previously, the battles would stutter. That was that was actually quite nice. Yes, I'm going to test Hogsmeade. We're in the Dark Forest right now, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm going to test Hogsmeade as well as... I have no idea where I am in the Dark Forest, to be honest with you. I have no clue whatsoever right now. And like I said before, just watch the, the original video on how to simply change the... Let's get out of, let's get out of there. How to change the... Uh, how to place the config file once again you'll need both of them and it can look it, it, you know it runs this is if you're really desperate at this point in time I don't know obviously this is just for your sake I am a loin benchmark channel uh, this is not for me I can run this on my RS 600 just keep that in mind so I'm good in that department but hey here we are even in Hogsmeade we are hitting 30 FPS this is actually quite nice Frame rate wise, not gameplay wise, guys. Or graphically, it looks terrible. But it's running. Hogs me 30 FPS. You want to experience Hogwarts Legacy? No, you can. If your system supports DirectX 12 at least. And it is somewhat a smooth experience. Like I thought it would stutter. It's not stuttering as badly. Which is quite surprising to me. I don't know why I decided to do this other than, you know, people might think, people might want to know. They might want to know. Harry Potter, potato mode. I, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to call this. But this is Hogsmeade. And we're going to go to, we're going to go to Hogwarts now and end the video there. I didn't want to show you the whole config process because I did that in the previous video. So seriously, if you want to actually try this out and put this on as well, Simply copy and paste the config file or watch the previous video showing you how I copied it in the first place. So it's not hard, guys. But once again, if you guys enjoyed this, and I do benchmark channels, I do low end content like this all the time where I try, I said low end content, that's not what I meant to say, where I try to get games running on low end hardware all the time. Let's see if we can get 30 FPS at Hogwarts. I'm going to stop right in front of Hogwarts' door. Like, let's go from outside and go in. And see what we can achieve. Maybe we can achieve 30. I've achieved 30 everywhere else. Which is quite impressive. It looks like nothing. It looks like the, the, the game was in its first gear of, I don't know, making it. Oh, it's, it's dark outside. I didn't even realize it was dark out. Who cares at this point? Imagine how inconvenient travel was before. 
This is the most stable I've ever been able to play this area here, right here. Without, it, like, it always stutters here. It always stutters here. I guess I've taken away all the effects and everything to the point that it, it can't. <laughs> it can't stutter anymore. Shoot, I, I feel like I'm... No, people are still walking around. And if people weren't walking around, I would have... I would have then... Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll wait sometime until it gets daytime. I'm just trying to get it to daytime. Okay, better. That was actually quite... Holy crap, we're getting close to 60 FPS. No wonder I was saying that felt smooth. I was saying that felt really smooth. No wonder. Hey, we're still playing. I always mix up these damn rooms. It's still running over 30 FPS even in Hogwarts. Guys, don't forget to share this video, guys. We gotta let people know Harry Potter out here can still be played on integrated graphics. Yeah, 30. It's running at 30. Oh wow, this area still drops. It still drops in this area. This area is always demanding for the CPU, but it seems like this area always drops regardless. Anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Hogwarts Legacy. Potato mode. It runs. I can't believe it's not butter. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do.